I, I mean, I don't really eat fiber one bars anymore. Do you eat fiber? I don't, I don't think so. Where you could flex all of your muscles at once and it could mm. get rid of a boner. It's time for the 1030 Brecky podcast. Prepared to be amazed. Your host, the king and set the blonde. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Have you, have you, you got any like important stories you want to just fire off right off the bat here? Or you just been chilling? Just, I just been kind of chilling. Was gonna, was gonna get the uh, Battlefront game, the OG one. Oh, Battlefront that just came out. You've been gaming? It was a little bit, and then looked at the reviews. It's like a two star review. Everyone's saying like the game's buggy, crashes, can't party up. For Battlefront, that yes. shit was always like fire. Yes. What do you it mean? Was, it was, it was great. I remember playing it back in the day, and it was awesome. So it's just been like. Going no, to shit. like, like this, like, cause they remade it and whatnot, and it's just horrible. Really? Yeah. Damn. I actually didn't expect that out of Battlefront. No, I know everyone's just like a cash grab, cause it's just like horrible. Dude, I think they hyped that up pretty well too. They, yes. they marketed the hell out of that, didn't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. I think they did. Okay, this cat's really tripping me out. Hey, what are you doing? Go, go lay down. Go home. Okay. Well, welcome. My name's Seth. I'm Dak. And welcome to 1030 Brecky. Uh, we're sitting here in the good old state of Minnesota like we did last time. But of course, we're in a new location. Yes. Um, an undisclosed location this time. Yes. AKA our trap house. <laughs> but uh, we're here just, uh, you know, we want to do a quick little pod and stay consistent with it. So I appreciate y'all just uh, tuning in every single week and um, listening to Dak and I's opinions on the world and how we view it. So um, I think we had some, you know, we had last week, I think was... We were a little teed up, and I won't oh, yes. lie, we're a little teed up again. So Of course. Yeah. I mean, that, that might be a recurring thing that just keeps mm-hmm. happening. I think the number one thing we need to dive into right off the bat, right here, right now, yeah. is the red flag situation. Oh, so gosh. I put out a clip of Dak talking about his red flags <laughs> of what his biggest red flag is in a, in a woman. Yeah. And what did you say it was? I said not knowing kind of check your oil or tire pressure. Okay. Which is valid, right? To most people it's valid. Yeah. And then I responded by saying that a lot of women don't know how to do that. Yeah. And I'm not saying like, it wasn't a just, it wasn't like directly targeting women. I think there was a clip after that where I said like, also there's a lot of dudes that probably don't know how to do that. Unfortunately too. Yeah. I wanted to get more from you because that's no way that's your number one red flag. Well, it, I mean, is there another red flag that I'm missing? I don't know. Come I, on, dude. I really don't. I just don't. I there, don't really, there's nothing that's like dirty to you that you're like, okay, I'm never going <laughs> to, never in my life will I ever. I don't know. Nothing? No, I mean. Do you want me to sit on it and like come back to it later? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kind of drunk, dude. I, I can tell you're kind of drunk. Dude, I just, I just feel like there's a more valid uh, like thing other than oil change and tire pressure. Well, I mean, I just don't think about like it at all really i know you don't think about it because you're not like actively looking for a girl like you're not any dating apps are you no especially as a single man for you yeah you probably are kind of curious and you're looking for a lady passively right like kind of like you see a hot girl at walmart you're probably get a little half chub from that (laughs) come on no okay full chub no (laughs) medium (laughs) all right well either way i'm just saying like I think there's a lot of things that come into play when you're you're looking for a lady, and I was just curious if you were actually like seeking one or not at, a, at, a, at this mean, point in your life. I mean, not not right now. Okay, then we'll pass. We'll just keep okay. going. But I think red flags are an important thing though in general because I think a lot of dudes can relate to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, our our audience is mainly male. Yeah. So there's a bunch of testosterone just built up right now <laughs> watching this shit. I do want to get into this, which is about quarantine a little bit. Yeah. 2020. Let's go back to 2020. Yeah, okay. Imagine this. We're back in 2020. Yeah. I'm sitting in my mom's basement. Yo. Picking my ass, my <laughs> nose. I'm upstairs eating fucking pounds of ice cream every minute of the Yo. day. And my breakfast is cereal. My lunch is a giant fat ass, like, like uh, a homemade sandwich that yeah. I made. And then my dinner is ice cream with Jack's pizza. <laughs> What's your like go to quarantine meal that you had? And you, I know you, you don't have many like diverse meals. Yeah. It's like one or two. You have yeah. like A, you have one A and you have one B. But what is your like go to quarantine meal? Like what was your guilt meal 
during like the lockdowns. Meal. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like a like a lots of matzo. A lots of matzo? That was your guilt meal? Well, I mean like I but that's normal for you. I you I mean, I eat it occasionally. Oh. I mean, otherwise I just like it's just like spaghetti or like those sound like meals that aren't guilty at all. Yeah. It sounds like you did the opposite of what most people did. <laughs> I mean, otherwise... It's did just you start, like, like, eating better during quarantine or something? Or it's just, like, ordering out. Okay, yeah, fair. Where, where are you from? Like, what was your go-to? I don't know. Depended. Like, Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Dude, I always get... I, I always look back on, like, um like the COVID times. Yeah. Like, 2020. Mm-hmm. Specifically because of the fact that I kind of miss it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now we're here. It's 2024. We're yeah. four years out of this shithole, right? Yes. And during the time... I remember like everyone was kind of complaining and like, oh, when's the next time I'm going to be able to do this or that, this? Yeah, yeah. I look back at it now and I'm like, dude, I miss that. You know how simple life was? Oh, it was very simple. I sat in my basement, played Call of Duty for like 10 hours a day, <laughs> drank a bottle of liquor and ate a ton of ice cream. It was awesome. <laughs> that will never happen again in my life. No, no, it won't. Ever. No, never just going to be able to just... Sit at home all day for like the, th- months. Yeah, literally never. Yeah, I don't. I don't think another like pandemic or some shit like that will well happen. I, I don't care about the pandemic part. What I'm talking about is like it's just that situation yeah. that you're in that age. We used to complain about it, right? Like, yeah, it was so weird. And honestly, I wish in that moment I would have realized that things would never be like this again. Oh yeah, where I could like go back and really cherish Mm -hmm. where it was yeah i would just wake up every day nothing planned nothing to do yeah nothing to do yeah like zero things planned i would go upstairs eat a fat bowl of cereal (laughs) sit there and like stare out the window (laughs) and this is when tiktok was like prime because like everybody's sitting at home watching nothing yeah i just make like a goofy tiktok Mm mm-hmm and then I'd go downstairs, play Call of Duty or Red Dead Redemption and just like do nothing all day. Yeah. I can't even tell you what I did because I didn't do <laughs> much, you know? Yeah. But like I kind of miss that because yeah. now I'm thinking about what I do now. I'm like constantly like stressed out Monday through Friday. Yo. The weekends come around. I try my best to like make plans with people. Mm-hmm. And then Monday repeats again, you know? Yeah. It's the same thing yeah. every fucking week. Whereas then it was like different every day. Mm. And, like, the biggest thing I did was, like, go out and, like, go for a bike ride, you know? Yeah. What were you... Where were you during quarantine? Like, were you in Winona? No, I was in Roch. You were in Rochester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah at that's your my, hometown. I was at Dad's. Oh, you were just chilling at your house, just chilling? Yeah. I had... What'd you I, do? What was, your, like, worked, your day like? I worked, like, once, once or twice a week at the Holiday Gas Station. Were you just feeding off unemployment? Yes. Can I ask how much you were getting from unemployment? A lot. Estimate? It was it was probably like seven hundred or so a week. A week? <laughs> How long did this go? Like the whole summer. Oh my god, dude! You were an essential worker, weren't you? Yes, I worked like like one shift a week. Where at holiday? So you were an essential worker. Yes. So you would go there, work eight hours a week, then get fucking a seven hundred dollar paycheck on top of the eight hours. <laughs> Yes. Dude, what a joke we were living in, bro. Like, oh. how can anyone complain about... Okay, I'm sure some people are in shitty situations, but how the fuck can anybody <laughs> complain about that? No. I was getting I was getting paid $500, $500 a week for two months. I only did it for two months. Yeah. It, like, I don't know. Who was... I don't fucking know. The government just didn't want to feed me much more after that. <laughs> but I literally was making a ton of money off of yeah. just sitting on my ass playing Call yeah. of Duty. It was the best. I honestly felt like a streamer for a little yeah. bit. You know? Like, you felt like what a streamer's lifestyle was where they get paid to play <laughs> video games. Literally what I felt like for yeah. a few weeks. I had a memory on my Snapchat just yeah, yeah, recently. Yeah. Uh, it was four years ago today. Okay. And so today's March 16th. So yeah. this was the last day that the bars were open in 2020. Wow. Like, they closed at 5 p.m. today. Uh, not, uh, four years ago yeah which is crazy to me so i had a ton of snapchat memories of us just like you know trying to like make the most of the bars yeah, 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 and yeah. the thing is in that time our mindset was like oh they'll be open in like three months because that's what everybody was telling yeah, us of course like, a month or two and then come to find out it was like a year later yeah that they were open and you had to wear a mask in the bars and shit God. whatever it was just so weird to me yeah that like that happened and yeah we're looking back on it and now I'm like, damn, I wish I would have like lived it up a little bit more and like mm-hmm. kind of enjoyed it more, you know? Yeah. That's how my my thought process was about um the pandemic in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I have a really good outlook. Maybe a lot of people aren't agreeing with me, but like 
Honestly, if I could get over the FOMO that I had where I'm like, oh, I'm missing out on this and this. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was. Like sometimes it's good to do nothing. Oh, I think yes. people overthink it and worry about like doing something all the time. But sometimes doing nothing is the best thing, it's the a, best it, medicine. It's a great relaxing thing. Yeah. Just doing nothing, having a break from everything. Did you do anything weird during COVID? Like, I don't know, Dak, you have to have a story. Or did you just like stare at a wall and like watch no, anime? All I, day? I, yeah, I did like nothing. I just watched anime, had, had the one working shift a week at holiday <laughs> and collected $700 a week from unemployment, dude. What a fucking world, bro. Imagine telling your children this. <laughs> And then also on top of that, you got, did you ever get the, the, what it was, stimulus checks? Like the $1,500 stimulus checks? I think I got half of it. Yeah. My mom like hid them from me. Yeah. Like no, she would I've, get them because I was still a dependent at the time. Yeah. My mom would just like pocket them. And then I'd be like, mom, where's my stimulus check? And she'd be like, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her. I would do the same shit. Yeah. It's not her fault. Yeah. It's not like I was cleaning the house or anything to help her. Yeah. Like she was doing all the work still. It was just like a rotting, and we still had a house back in Winona. That's what blew my mind. Yeah, we were and, we were paying rent on a house, and we we just didn't live there for like how long? Well, I would go there. I would do like a weekend vacation, yeah. but half the time I would go to Winona, and it was just me in college alone. I would walk around campus, nobody, yeah, nobody there, yeah, and I'd just walk around. I'd sit in my house. I'd just sit there with my cat, and Literally. I would just hang out for like a week alone. Yeah, nothing. I'd blast music. Smoke some weed, stare at a TV, play some more Call of Duty, yeah, and then collect that damn stimulus check. <laughs> That's it. Just great, yeah. dude. Can't complain. And another thing, before we get out this damn topic, it just kind of it's just a really fun topic because of the fact that we all went through it and it kind of blows my mind how how different things were, you know? Yeah. And where we are now. It's like we're back to real life again. Oh yes. It's not nearly the same as it was pre COVID, but um, no, the one thing I really do miss is masks. No, 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 not, not for the, before everybody starts freaking out, <laughs> not in the sense that we have to wear them everywhere in every place. What I miss is that there was some advantages that you could have from the mask. <laughs> First of all, if you didn't have a mask, you couldn't get into certain places. Yeah. So if you didn't want to go somewhere, just, you accidentally didn't bring your mask. Yeah. You couldn't get in. Yeah. Like now there's a lot of situations where I could think oh, yes. through. I'm like, damn, I wish I just pretended I didn't have my mask. Or, yeah. or the COVID play. You know how many times I got out of work oh, with COVID? Yes. Masks also. I remember when we went back to school and we got, we're in person, but we all had to wear masks though. So yeah. You could make any face, anything you wanted. Yeah. Behind that mask. Oh, yes, you could. I'd sit there and be like, mm. I'd stick my tongue out like the professor and, be like, <laughs> and like hiss at him. You had no idea. You had no idea, dude. It was so fucking fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you literally could do whatever you wanted behind that mask. Oh yeah, you could. And now you get your mouth's free again. Yeah. And also it kind of made you look more attractive. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you're insecure and like a lot of people probably were like a lot hotter than they thought. Yeah. Because they had a mask on. They'd cover up half their face. No yeah. one knows what they look like. Never happens again. No. I mean, maybe, maybe. We're only we're only twenty four, bro. There might be another pandemic soon. Yeah. Do you have anything that you like miss specifically from that like 2020 to 2021 time frame? Other than you're like, yeah, using the mask to, oh, forgot the mask, can't, can't go out. Yeah. Or whatnot. Or just get out of work. You're like, I don't feel good today. And everybody's like freaking out. Don't come in. Don't come in. Yeah. Now they just finally dropped it. So now you. Oh, yeah. Now, 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 now there's no more excuses like, yeah. for COVID. No. What is it? What was it again? It was, it was. Back the day, I swear it was like a week or two. You yeah, had, but now what is the like thing now? They changed oh, it from no, like quarantine now, for fourteen days to now it's now it's you're fine. You you're zero. Treat work. it like the flu or something. Yeah, they're like if you get COVID nineteen, just uh, go back. The tides have changed, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on from this because I'm sure this is going to get demonetized now because we've talked about COVID. I recently went to a movie. Yeah. And this movie was uh, Kung Fu Panda. And yeah. It's like the fourth or fifth one. Yeah. yeah. I don't go to movies often anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's just because of the fact that movies kind of are not really, it's easier. I'd rather be at my house watching a movie yeah. and so many streaming services and shit now. Yeah. I don't want to go. It's like a, it's like a hassle now. You have to go to the movie, drive to the movie theater. You can't bring food in. you can't bring drinks in and you have to sit there and Sometimes they're comfortable chairs, whatever. Yeah. And you just have to force yourself to watch the movie. The only thing that's good about going to a movie theater is you will watch the whole movie because you paid for it. Yeah. But if you're in your house streaming it on like Netflix, for example, yeah, you get unlimited food, 
unlimited drinks, unlimited mm-hmm. whatever the hell you want to do, <laughs> aka some Mary J, yeah. and like other things like that, right? Yeah, you yeah. don't normally get that when you go to the movie theater. Mm-hmm. So I went to Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is one of the only series that was nailing it. Like they're on number four or five now. Yeah, I think four. And they one two one two three were pretty fire. Yeah, four was the worst movie in the world. Really terrible, terrible. Really. And I went there because my roommate's obsessed with Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. So we went to Kung Fu Panda. I yeah. I've been to a movie in years, and I went there, and it was just so bad. And not only that, dude, movies are so fucking loud. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm old now. <laughs> but dude, the noise, it's like. <laughs> like it's just so and it's not the movie it's the pre like the yeah the trailers before movies yeah, yeah, yeah so loud like my ears are like ringing and shit i'm like come on turn it down a little bit <laughs> i'm not that old dude i'm 24 yeah right uh, i wouldn't think we're that old was the last time you've been to a movie it's been a while like what was the movie i think the last movie i went to was uh during football practice no <laughs> It was, uh, I think, Killers of the Flower Moon. Really? Yes. I've never heard of that. It was a pretty good one. It was scary? No, it wasn't scary. Have you ever had phases? So like we talked about COVID, right? I would call that like a phase. Yeah. Where it was like a phase of your life where you didn't really do much and you just kind of sat there. Yeah. Certain type of personality in person. Mm -hmm. And you had a change and now you're different from that. Yeah. So that's a phase. Yeah. How many phases have you had? And like, what was like your most like highlighted phases? For example, for me. I had many phases. I can't remember my elementary school phases. I think I was a little slut in <laughs> elementary school trying to get with a girl every day. Yeah. Not really, but like, you know, you had like five girlfriends at that time. Yeah. You're like a goddamn Mormon walking around. <laughs> now, I would say I'm like in my like in between adult phase where I'm kind of finally pushing, like not in my college phase anymore. Yeah. yeah. Finally becoming an adult slightly. Like there's still yeah. four phases to go. Yeah. My, my middle school phases was borderline mentally and physically. People probably thought I was special needs. <laughs> that was the phase where I was making screeching noises. Oh, I didn't God. know how to dress my hair. I had acne on my face. I was going through puberty. So my voice would be either deep or high. Yeah. And I just found out what masturbation was you yeah. know and all that so yeah. like you were kind of in this weird awkward phase like my head was yeah. bigger than my body i just looked like a creature <laughs> and people called me creature and people knew me for making noises that's it yeah so i was debatably on the the borderline yeah. like spectrum and then and then high school i think you know i brushed off and that was like in a bad boy phase i was hanging out with some i was just doing bad things <laughs> i was you know smoking weed and all that and yeah. like that was my bad boy phase and then i got into like the more jockey phase. Yeah. And then college came around, I'd say is more of like, kind of more of like what I am today. Yeah. So like, do you have like a really weird phase that you remember that really? Not, not really. I mean, I was, I was mostly just like a quiet kid through like middle school up to like halfway through high school. It's mostly just, yeah, just a quiet kid. You're just a quiet boy. Yes. You didn't really have like a significant phase. Like I feel like in middle school, you had some weird shit. I think everyone had that awkward phase where it's like your your brain's too big for your body. Yeah. Where yeah. you look ugly as hell. I didn't, I didn't really ever have like lots of zits and whatnot. I was, I was blessed. Your skin looks fucking amazing, dude. I was, I was blessed. Dude, we make TikToks. <laughs> I remember we were making TikToks and I would do like, you know, we do the up close videos. Yeah, yeah. Bro, people would be like, oh my God, how, what's his skincare routine? Do you have a skincare routine? No. Then what the fuck do you do? I mean, Just like, like stare at, what is it? Anime? Like, What's the key? I, I do like nothing. Do you have any like skin? You don't do anything. Water to the face. That's it. I mean, just like, yeah, maybe like once, maybe twice a week, I'll just like wash my face with my body wash. Damn. That's that's it. Otherwise, I just like scrape off the, the sweat when it dries. Oh, so that's the key. Dry <laughs> sweat. I mean, yeah, just from working, it's usually just on my forehead and shit, and I just wipe it all off. Interesting. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. For some reason, I thought like you had like a skincare routine because it's so silky and smooth and no. kind of like clear. Never. Where mine is like pale and it like turns red and it's like splotchy. Yeah. It just looks like shit, dude. Poop. Poop? Yeah. Today's the day we talk about poop. Okay. What do you want to talk about with well, poop? So I've had a lot of trouble with poop in the past. Oh, yeah. Like you have, when you drink, you get constipated the next day. Of course. Day. But fiber poops. Have you oh. ever had a fiber poop? I don't know. I used to, 
I think back in like high school, I used to have like fiber one bars. So that was your fiber poop phase? I guess so. So you don't do... I, I mean, I don't really eat fiber one bars anymore. Do you eat fiber? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Probably not. Yeah. So I have... I, I usually eat one thing that like has a lot of fiber in it. Yeah. Like uh, chia seeds. And I'll eat a lot of those. Yeah. The next morning, bro, I recommend it. Have some fiber. You will relieve yourself. You know how it feels when you have like that built up, like you need to get it out. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Constipation. Of course. Fiber poops unlocks a new world, new <laughs> personality, new energy level that you'll never have in your life. Okay. Okay. No one's getting sponsored here. It's just like how I feel. <laughs> I mean, I, I just have my like normal like morning poops. Do you have any guilty pleasures? I don't know. My guilty pleasures, hands down, is eating food with my hands. I always eat like food with my hands. Well, because you're eating pizza. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying like food tastes better when you eat it with your hands. Well, right? like spaghetti and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even that. Like if you <laughs> guilty pleasure is something that like people think it's gross, but you like it and it's like a good pleasure for you. It's a guilty pleasure. You don't have anything. I used to look back in the day, I like, used to like. Not making my pancakes all the way through, so they'd just be a tad bit batter. <laughs> <laughs> That's your guilty pleasure? I guess so. I mean, I used to do that back in the day. So it's just like raw pancakes. It, it wasn't completely raw. Raw pancakes is your guilty pleasure. It was mostly cooked. Just just a tad bit. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, that's a guilty pleasure, but it's an interesting one, Dak. That or Usually like, they're a little bit more weird. That or I used to dip my fries in marinara sauce. That's, that is a different. I've never heard of that. Marinara. Yes. You like marinara a lot, don't you? Yes, I used to dip my fries in it. Do you still, you fuck with marinara sauce? Yes. Okay. I don't know if that nails anything when it comes to guilty pleasures. Yeah. Like guilty pleasures. I would purely eat food with my hands if I could. If I wasn't, <laughs> if I didn't have to have manners, I would because it tastes better. <laughs> food, tastes, food tastes way better. When it's eaten with your hands yeah. versus a fork, spoon, knife, whatever the fuck you're eating with. <laughs> and you can't debate that. You eat pizza a lot. Yes. You're a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah. Why is it some pizzas you eat with your hands and some you eat with a fork and knife? What is the what what draws the line between hands and fork? I don't really know. I mean, just some that I eat, like Pub Murphy's, I'll eat with a fork. I'll eat the pizza with a fork, but I mean like for the most part, other pizzas will just, you know, eat by hand. There's no... I'm, There's no line. There's just, like, specific places you'll eat. You won't cross the line, though. Like, you won't go hand on hand on Papa Murphy's because no. you want to. <laughs> I, I just thought you had more ruling to it because I no. was always wondering. I'm like, why are you eating this with a fork? But last night you were eating with a hand. <laughs> There's no. nothing to it? No. No, it's just, like, it's just how it is. Okay. All right, fair, fair, fair. Right. <laughs> yo, this podcast is going to be all over the place because we, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, yo. Like, yeah. I'm Irish as fuck, so I'm going to be balling out this weekend. I'm actually 42% Irish. Oh. Yeah. 23 and me. Did you do that ever? I did. What What are you? Oh, I'd have to look at it again, but like. German? Yeah. You got a lot of German, yeah? That and like. Swedish. Swedish. I'm Scandinavian. I'm 41% Scandinavian mm -hmm. with like a bunch of countries. Scandinavia, obviously, like the whole yeah, region. Yeah. Okay. But I thought I was German. Not at all. And I'm blonde hair, blue eyes. Like yeah. The yeah. blueprint of <laughs> boyfriend, you know? <laughs> like you think I would be like. Yeah. No, I'm not German at all. I have like no German in my blood. Huh. According to 23andMe, this is just what I go off of. Okay. So, and I got a little Neanderthal. So. Yeah. This is an embarrassing story for me. Okay. I remember specifically, it was like a English project where we had to stand up in front of the class. Mm -hmm. I was with like another partner. I think his, I don't remember who it was. Yeah. He was like, whatever, we had to get up and it was our turn. But I, I and I read somewhere on the internet where I, I've known this since I was in middle school, where mm -hmm. you could flex all of your muscles at once and it could mm. get rid of a boner. <laughs> you never heard of that? No, no. I think I heard it from you. Was it me? Yes. God, I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, I spread misinformation. Do not listen to me. But I swear, the way to get rid of a boner quickly is to flex all of your muscles. So right now I'm flexing my arms, legs, my hamstrings, everything. I'm flexing it all. Yeah. And it draws the blood from your boner to the other parts of your body. Yeah. So that's why I would do it. So I was sitting there mid-class. <laughs> we're about to present. We're next up. And I know we're next up. And I'm sitting there flexing my fucking forearms and shit. And like my little chicken legs are twitching and shit. Trying to get rid of this boner. Oh, God. So 
I, I always think of how embarrassing it is to have a like those situations yeah. and how a lot of people don't understand that males when people think of mo- boners they think they're just horny and want to fuck all the time no it's not that it's just like a natural human instinct mm-hmm. you know how a cat can't control itself and it yes. will like other cats <laughs> it's like that but on a different level yeah uh, Dak, I think I want to revisit it now I gave you time to think about it what red flags and a woman dude this hurts you this looks like it it Something's going on. I think he has a girlfriend. I do not have a girlfriend. What the fuck's going on? I don't know. I just... It's just not something I think about. Boys? No. Red flag and boys? No. What is going on then? Nothing. Do you need a sip of that bush latte over no, there? No, the bush latte's finished. All right, let's take a sip. Here, cheers. I mean, it's... I'm going to ask you every fucking podcast until oh I get God. some clear red flags from this guy because I know he needs them. I'm trying to get this guy a lady. <sighs> you need a lady. Yeah. A sweet lady that will make you pancakes every morning. <laughs> Have you ever had like a cavity or anything? No, 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 no cavities. No cavities. Just, just tartar build up. No, and I used to have like some atrocious brushing habits. Like the only, the only like things I've had with my mouth are tripped when I was a kid and like disconnected like my lip from my gum, my upper lip. Oh, the the string thing up here? Yeah. Dude, I hate that thing. Why is it a thing? Why do people have that? Dude, I, I don't hate know, that but thing. it like, it disconnected. Oh, fuck And for no. like the longest time, it was just like a flap up there and I would just oh. like... <laughs> lick it and shit? I would just swish it back and forth. Oh, God damn it, Dak. <laughs> Ugh. God, that sounds terrible. Did they have to like sew it back on or... No, no, it was just there and then we just kind of brought it up one time. They're like, is it bothering you? I'm like, not really. I just kind of like Play with it. Did it grow back? No. They they just ended up numbing my gums and then... Cutting it off? Yeah, just use a little buzz saw and just cut it off. Wait, so you don't have it? You don't have the, the string thing right here? Mm-mm. No way. You don't have the string thing that attaches your like lip to your gums? Huh. Flip like, it up. Show the camera. I don't know. Let me I, see. Show I, me. I have like... Flip it up. Like, there's nothing... Flip there. it up! There's definitely something there. No, it's just like the top is literally just my... Like this being connected. There's like no flap. One last thing I want to cover because we're doing a little short podcast today. Sorry, we've been all over the place. Honestly, we are very excited for St. Patrick's Day. So we just kind of mm-hmm. wanted to throw a podcast together real quick because we got to yeah. stay dedicated, you know. We are the 1030 Break- Brecky Podcast. I'm here in um, Minnesota oh. and my neighbor's house. Um, I pulled up today to check on my parents' house and my neighbor's house is completely covered in eggs. Eggs, like, oh yeah, you know, eggs from chickens. Fuck eggs, by the way. I hate <laughs> eggs. They taste like shit. I don't know how people eat them. <laughs> Got on my car and there was eggs all over our driveway. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh shit. And our neighbor's house is covered, like top to bottom, in eggs. Yeah. And the car in their driveway is white and covered in eggs. Oh god. But anyway, so the house I'm at. Uh, there, there, there are cameras everywhere. And yeah. Same for the house that got egged. So I don't know who the fuck did it and didn't really think that through. The 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 ring camera. I look at the footage, mm-hmm. and these motherfuckers were in our backyard slinging eggs at the neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had like each had a milk or uh, egg carton in their hand. God, just slinging them. There's a bunch of teenagers, uh, high schoolers out there that are probably shitting their pants today and regretting what they did. Listen, I was in high school once and I had a lot of fun. I used to dig now ditch TP houses, but egging, probably not the best idea. Yeah. Dang. We never did like, like... What the fuck? You, that's where his vandalism comes from. No actual damage. No, I mean, that was just fun. It was like harmless fun. Yeah. Um, Deck, I think we should wrap this podcast up. Yeah. We're all over the place. I'm not going to lie. Like, I just want to get another pod in because I appreciate everybody tuning in every single week and like yeah. giving us love and just like actually supporting us. Like at the end of the day, it like drives us to keep going every single week. I did just order a third mic. So we are going to have guests on. Yes. Um, they're like episode five or six. We will have a guest on and I'm very excited for it. Uh, don't know what the guest is going to be, but it's going to be very, very good. So uh, I hope you guys tune in for it and continue to support us because we do fuck with you guys and we can't keep going unless we get some support from y'all. Yes. We want to do something we love to do and Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of making TikToks and shaking my ass on camera. (laughs) I'm sure you are too, Dak. Yes. Yeah, okay. I wanted to give uh, you the floor one one more time. Okay. What's your biggest red flag in a woman? Oh my God. (laughs) I don't feel like you're ever going to answer that question. (laughs) I feel like it's always going to just be a problem for you. Yeah. Until next. Hey, what, what, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, who are you? Give me all your fucking money right now!
Jack, who is that? The fuck is hey, that? Hey, man. Hey, man, man. Get the fuck out of the ground! Bro, bro, who the fuck are you? Out of the ground! What the fuck? Bro! 